Hello everyone. My name is Mary Callahan and I'm a senior communication major at UNH. I'm minoring in political science and justice studies. This summer I was lucky enough to work with More Than Wheels. It's an amazing award-winning nonprofit organization and it would really be a disservice to try to explain everything that they do in a short presentation because they really do so much. Um, essentially, they use, I'm going to explain it through um, a client's story because her story is really the story of More Than Wheels. Um, and what we do in general is to help, we've helped 1,600 families with a history of bad credit access $16 million in low interest financing to purchase new or gently used reliable fuel efficient cars. More Than Wheels basically negotiates with financial institutions as well as car dealerships in order to make this possible. Tammy's story is really outstanding. Um, she's a single mother. She has, she had four, she was working four jobs in order to pay for a really old Jeep Cherokee and she was paying $1,100 a month um, to pay for the repair costs, the, uh, the interest on her car, as well as gas. Um, she began working with More Than Wheels and she was part of their financial fitness classes. So she learned about financial literacy and how to understand and create a better budget for herself. She worked one-on-one -on -one with her client and consultants in order to look at her credit score and this is the model, by the way, um, in order to look at her credit score and understand it. And while she was working with More Than Wheels, she was given temporary transportation, which she paid a monthly payment on, which also in turn helps her make um, a positive payment history so that she can get better financing when she actually purchased her car. Now, Tammy graduated the program being able to purchase a brand new Toyota Yaris which she spends in total about $400 a month on. And that's a change that has really impacted her life. And she's been able to, she has so much more empowerment. She's taken back control of her life. And, you know, oh, she's a member actually of the More Than Wheels mem uh, board. So she's got a huge t um, turnaround. And the average More Than Wheels client saves about $12,000 over the course of their loan. And over, over the course of their loan, over 5% of them default on their loan, which is well below the industry average. It's actually incredibly amazing. Um, and we know this because More Than Wheels stays in contact with their clients for the entire duration of their loan. That's five years after they've gone through the program, looking at their credit scores and making sure that they're on top of everything. But it's really more than that. It's about breaking the cycle of debt that these people are trapped by. Um, a study by the Carsey Institute revealed that 73% of their clients leave the program with the feeling that they have an overall improved financial situation. Um, they're able to get to their jobs, do it on time, and maintain a steady work schedule. They're able to run errands, attend community events, access health care, and even better nutritious food options. And like I said, there's the whole empowerment issue. They've finally taken back control of their lives. They're getting out of that cycle of debt. And it's really because we view the car as a, necess as a necessity, not a luxury. It's how you do everything in your life. So my role with More Than Wheels was to work in communications. I, I created media strategies. Um, I wrote press releases, news articles about their different services. I created creative ways to get in touch with clients and increase our client referrals so we can expand our services throughout more to more people. And I also created the materials for a direct mail campaign that will be going out to increase the demographic that we can um, bring our services to. I'm really humbled to have been able to work for More Than Wheels this summer. Their passion, the team, really fueled my own. And it was an amazing experience and a great opportunity. So thank you.